Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. Bill and I each had dentist appointments and we had a meeting in Pomona. So those items took up most of our day, but we decided that maybe it would be pretty cool for us to share with you some news highlights that are interesting to us right now. Don't worry, nothing's going to be political. We don't do political, but we wanted to share with you some things that we have found interesting just recently in the news. Let's get started. Our first bit of news for you is regarding the 29th season of Dancing with the Stars. The 29th season is going to have new hosts. Yes, can you believe it? Tom Bergeron, he has been a host on the show since the very first year in 2005. For 15 years he's been hosting the show. Even Lance Bass has called him a legend. But unfortunately, Tom Bergeron, who is sad to be going, is not going to be here next season. In addition, his co-host, Aaron Andrews, who's been on the show since 2014, will be leaving as well. They have not announced who's going to be taking their place yet, but I'm very interested to see because Dancing with the Stars has had some problems over the last couple of years keeping viewers. They've made a lot of changes, but most of them have been quite small, either with the judges or the way the judging takes place in order to try to keep viewers watching and interested. So this, I believe, is their new way of trying to get viewers to come back to the show and to be a part of it. So I look forward to finding out who the new hosts are going to be. Next up, we've got a little bit of news on the Lori Laughlin college scandal. Lori Laughlin, who most of you know from the show Full House and is currently 55 years old, has been in some hot water lately from a college scandal wherein she tried to enroll her children into college claiming that they were rowing professionals. They weren't, but they were able to secure scholarships for that and they have been in trouble for that since that time. Lori Laughlin's bail was originally set at $1 million. This bail was being secured by her home. She was not happy about that and has actually been talking to the federal prosecutors about getting it reduced and they are in agreement. They have just reduced her bail to $100,000. However, she does still as well have to serve two years in prison and after she's released from prison, she's going to be on probation for a couple of years as well. Next up, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something you can look forward to seeing this weekend. This weekend, you're going to be able to see five planets plus the moon without a telescope. Sunday, July 19th, 45 minutes before sunrise you are going to be able to see Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars along with the crescent moon. If you're interested in getting more information about where to locate them in the sky, you can look that up on space.com. But this is going to be incredible. So get up early, get out there on Sunday morning, and look up in the sky so that you can check out the five planets along with the moon, all without a telescope. Next up, I have a little information about a show called Survivor, some of you may have heard of in the past, and the upcoming season. For the first time in 20 years, Survivor will not be a part of the CBS fall lineup. The 41st season was originally scheduled to air on Wednesday nights this fall at 8 p.m., but the 41st season has been canceled. They were planning to begin filming in March of 2020 in Fiji and because of production delays from the coronavirus, the entire season has been canceled. But don't worry, they have a wonderful show called The Amazing Race, which you may have heard of, that's going to be airing in its place. I really enjoy watching The Amazing Race, watching them travel from country to country and seeing all areas of the world. And you can watch it this fall as well on CBS, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. But if any of you are wondering, does this mean Survivor isn't coming back? It is coming back. They have already scheduled it to come back in 2021 for the 42nd season. Next up, I have a little bit of Disney 
information for you. Disneyland in Hong Kong has closed nearly one month after reopening. Disneyland in Hong Kong reopened on June 18th, and as of today, July 15th, Hong Kong Disneyland is closed because of spikes in the coronavirus. On the other hand, in Orlando, Florida, Walt Disney World did reopen this past Saturday as planned, but unfortunately, on the other hand, Disneyland in California had to scrap its plans to reopen on July 17th and has not given any set date to reopen yet. We are hopeful that it will be really, really soon because we want to get there. And it was actually nice that at least uh, Downtown Disney was able to reopen on July 9th. If you watched our video, we went and we had a great time. So if you haven't been yet, I encourage you to go. Next up, I have a random act of kindness for you. In Gainesville, Florida, NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal witnessed an accident. And he didn't just drive on by like most motorists would. We are so busy, we have appointments, we have places we need to be. No, no, Shaquille O'Neal got out of his car on the side of the road with a stranded female motorist and waited with her. Not only did he just check on her, but he waited until first responders arrived on the scene and made sure that she was in good hands and that she was safe and not alone any longer. He fist bumped the police officers before he left and went on his way, but it was such a nice thing to see a superstar of that caliber to actually take time out of his day for someone that he doesn't even know, will never ever see again. He has no idea what that meant to that driver who was stranded alone by herself after a car accident. It was such a wonderful thing to see in the news, and I've always really loved that guy, but it certainly made me love him a little bit more. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the current news that's trending right now that was interesting to me, that I thought might be interesting to you as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. Click the thumbs up button. Give us a like because that just encourages us to continue on making videos for you every day. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!